Okay, um, obviously this is going to be a review of New Super Mario Brothers on, um, on DS. Um, so, um, <clears throat> this game's a side-scroller, but, um, you can select the maps by going to this area. Um, like, there's World 1, World 2. Here. Go back to 1, I'll show you the... I'll show you this, the very first level in the game. Yeah, um... Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> this, um, pretty much plays, um, like any other Mario side-scroller, um, there are a few new power-ups, though, um, there's, like, this mushroom that, like, makes you giant, like that. That coin that I just picked up, like, if you get a certain, um, actually, I don't remember what they do, um, yeah, when he blinks green like that, that means that the super big power-up thingy is about to run out, but depending on how much you run over, you get a certain number of extra lives. Yep, and that's, um, the end of the level, and plays the, um, the old tune, um, yeah, and when you get, when you see one of those buildings, you have to go, um, you can get a power-up by going there, and, it holds that power-up for later use in the game, see it's right there, um, so I'm going to go there, and, um, and if you need the power-up, all you got to do is touch it on the touch screen, and it'll fall down to you. Now, since I was already, um, big, it went straight back to that, um, area. When you're big, you can you can butt stomp right through big blocks and oh I just got a fire flower power up there's also another one that makes you small um, there's like a tiny tiny mushroom that makes you really small and you, there's certain areas which can only be accessed by being uh, small and you can only butt stomp through blocks or jump up through them when you're big. So, um, oh, here's another thing. There's a lot of platforms that tilt back and forth. Um, <clears throat> I haven't actually beaten this game yet, but, um, I've only had it a little over a month, and, um, I'm already on the, on the 8th, uh, world map thing, um, so this, um, game, um, obviously isn't very long, uh, not that that's a bad thing, but, um, yeah, so you, I mean, there are eight worlds, um, with several levels in them, but, um, but the thing is, uh, that the, um, but the reason that I'm, that I've gotten through it so fast is, um, again, I'm not complaining here, I'm just kind of like, uh, uh, 
to get from World 2 to World 4, you have to get to the end of the castle while you're small Mario, and he'll take a different path when, when it, right after he destroys the castle. So, um... Yeah, so, um, oh, the star coins I mentioned to you earlier, um, they're used to open paths like these. Um, and if you see those, um, those little kind of, um, question mark things, you can hit them and you'll get things like this. This is one of the newer, uh, power-ups, um, If you reach the ground, you can you can spin like uh, and go off in like a kick shell, and then um, and that'll protect you from that'll also protect you from some things. Like it protected me from that shark, which would have hit me if um, if I wasn't um, a shell. And there's P buttons in this game, just like. Super Mario World on on Super Nintendo and Game Boy Advance. Yeah, that music kind of speeds up, just like um. Yeah, yeah I just got another Star Coins. Um, there are invisible blocks in this game, like much like the older um Game Boy Color and um. NES games. Um, yeah. There are se there are several secret areas to find in this game. Uh, and the way that the that there's like all the maps and then you select the level. That once again uh, that makes this game somewhat reminiscent of. Uh, yeah, I just killed myself. Yeah. Um, here, I'll just go straight to the next one. That again makes it more reminiscent of uh, Super Super Mario World on um, Super Nintendo. So, um, I like this game, um, despite it not being in spite of the fact that it's um, not as deep, so to speak, as uh, Super Mario World, the original. Um, well, not the original NES game, but the Super Nintendo. Like, I don't know. Um, even though it's not quite as... Um, in, even though the map thingy isn't quite as involved as that game, it's still sort of reminiscent of that, and I always like that game, so, um, if you like Super Mario World, um, I would definitely recommend this game, um, or any, if you like any Super Mario game at all, this probably would, <clears throat> and I like, and I like the side-scroller format in general, um, So, um, it seems that these days the only, um, side scrollers that most side scrollers these days tend to be on handheld consoles, um, but, um, there have been a few, um, notable ones, like, on the Wii and stuff, um, although this, there was Super Paper Mario, although that wasn't, like, a super, that wasn't technically, like, a, it was, like, a cross between a sky, side scroller and a 3D game, like, you flip between two dimensions, so, or two dimensions. This game is most definitely deserving of a five-star rating. So, if you like Super Mario, um, anything, I would recommend this game.